Hey guys, welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to be starting off with the dip. So for my shoulder and tricep days, I usually, you know, keep the same regimen that you saw in the last, my previous video with shoulders and triceps. But I added a couple different things in, like the dip. Um, I went to failure with it. You want to go to failure with most of your sets, depending on the level you train at. If you're a new, if you're a beginner, you want to like start at a lower level. You don't want to, you know, go straight into failure. But over time, when you're used to working out a lot, you can go to failure. So right here, most people would give up right here, but I just push through. No use of the legs, just, you know, pushing as pushing my body to its limits. And that's kind of what you want to do to achieve the most gains. My next exercise was the skull crusher. I would do this with a bench that was straight up, but I am not tall enough. I don't think anybody would be tall enough to sit on this bench that I have and do it just sitting straight up. So I lay down and I think I'm using 50 pounds and you know, you're just trying to go till your triceps, you know, can't push anymore. And since I'm in such a deep deficit at the moment and I've been in a calorie deficit for a long time um, and I usually work out fasted, um, it's harder to, you know, uh, push my body to its limits or to its full potential carbs are going to be what is going to make your workouts better depending on what you want to do with your workouts so if you're going to push it really hard then you want to you know eat a lot of carbs for this set i'm working on the rear delt and the posterior delt the middle delt pretty much this is going to make you have a bigger look it's also going to work you know the sides of your arms i was already you know pretty tired at this point and uh, you're not going to be able to use as much weight for this exercise. Um, it depends on, you know, your, your, the level of strength you have. But after you do those, you want to go on between your legs, sitting down. You're going to bend over, and this is going to work more of the rear delt. So the rear delt is a very underdeveloped muscle in most, you know, people. So that's where you want to focus on it. And it's going to, when you're doing a back double bicep, and you're showing your back, you want the shoulder to have all the muscles around it. And that's it. Right here, I'm doing tricep extensions. I do not have a machine, so I'm using bands. This is a great way to do this inside your house, you know, get some bands, attach them to something, and do some tricep pull downs. You're gonna love it. Um, it gets really difficult after a while. You just go easier with, re with the resistance. So that's why I go from the harder band to you know easier and then the easiest but once you get down you know even as you're going down it's still going to be hard because you're going to failure each time and i think this is a, a great way to grow you're going to be targeting the muscle and you're going to be pushing it way past where it wants to be and it's going to be forced to break down muscle tissue and it's going to have to regrow you need to eat a lot of protein you need to eat a sufficient amount of you know food to cause growth uh, if you're trying to get lean, still eat a lot, but do cardio. So now I'm moving down to the purple band. As you can already tell from two of them, I'm already, you know, struggling. So that's perfect. That's what you really want to get out of this. You really want to, you know, even if you're going down, you want to still be struggling with it. And, you know, you got to figure out the way that's going to target your triceps the most. It might not be conventional how you're doing it, but you want to make sure you're feeling it in your triceps and not in your biceps or your shoulder or your back because that can always happen when you know you're not training correctly or using the correct form. This is a great exercise for the delt as well as the tricep. It's going to be, you know, overhead press. Depending on how much weight you're going to use, you want to range from 8 to 12 reps. You can go to 6 if you're going super heavy, but to get muscle hypertrophy, to get muscle growth people might think you know you have to lift super heavy and do one rep maxes all the time and three reps no you're going to want to get for muscle hypertrophy you want to get over that you want to be eight nine ten plus reps so that's what i find really important and what people don't understand sometimes is that genetics plays a huge role in what you're going to be able to gain naturally and how you would respond to steroids SARMs, whatever you, you want to take you know, so for me, I have, you know, more of a, a muscular type build, less of like an ectomorph, a little bit of an endomorph. I do carry more fat. 
Um, but it really depends on your genetics, what you're going to be able to build. And once you understand that, you, you'll, you'll realize that you're going to want to affect what you can affect. I, you can't affect your genetics. All you can affect is your work rate in the gym. And that's why you should push yourself every day. Pretend every, your, every day is your last day. You would push yourself to the limits to get, you know, what you want out of life. That's what, that's what you have to understand. And that's why I'm pushing. You see how hard I'm pushing it? That's what you if want If you to enjoy do. this video, please leave a like and subscribe. If there's anything you'd like to see next, please let me know. I'm down to do whatever. See what you guys want to see. And peace.